Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away, and you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. You feel the tip of a long needle being pushed a little ways into your neck. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Who are you? Not so very far from home, I'm sure. This is the turf of Magisters, and Magisters tend to be human, like you. A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her, the needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice a flaw in her diamond features, a curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Because it is my desire to question him intensely. As for the reason, you're staring at it. You see... Once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. But now I'm free, of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here, to Fort Joy. I intend to raise the subject with him. She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could warn him, save him, or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. The bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? I will. Escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. Hmm. A silly thing to say, but then again, I did think catching me off guard was impossible. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? Hmm, the agony of choice. You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles, then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth, the quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. suits me fine. Lead on. Or better yet, let me take the lead. Then follow me. You're not quite certain you'll ever sleep soundly with Sibyl in any sort of proximity, but at least she's on your side for the moment.
Is that thing eating corpses? The creature heaves through lips gummed with human gore. It turns to you with great effort, pain apparent in every movement, and madness screams from its wide, bloodshot eyes. You, 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 you. Quite lost. Quite lost. Quite lost. Careful, or they'll cross your wires. <laughs> now, a little query. Where grows the yarrow? Hmm? Hmm? Quickly now, for I haven't much time. The creature gingerly takes the plant into his bloodied hands. He runs his fingertips over the white flowers. His panting breath slows. Darling, dear. Dear, darling child. Hello, Yarrow Girl. Can it really be you? The creature begins to weep. Fast, silent tears spill from his eyes as he clutches the little cluster of flowers to his heart. For you, my ring, heart of me, name of Migo. Thank you. You? What? What is it? Go. Told you, didn't I? They crossed my wires, hammer goes clang, and then the worms crawl in. Name of Migo, come out of Arx. My daughter's a magister. Pretty haired Yarrow girl. She doesn't know about all this, though. Don't you dare blame her, pretty haired Yarrow girl. Clang, clang. Horrible old sadist. Filled my brain with holes. The devil lives inside her. Believe you me. Yarrow girl, you've grown, you have. I need bread. I want no trouble. Bread or a brisket. Toes the same. This is not your business, Long Pig. Don't let this moss muncher talk to you like that. Especially a cheapskate like this one. Griff already knows she don't like to pay her fair share. An intense-looking man steps between the thug and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well-muscled and heavily scarred arms. Just stand aside, won't you, mate? This is no business of yours. Lone wolves decide their own business. The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crony. Pay up, elf. No one shorts Griff, especially not one of you. The intense-looking man stands beside you against the thugs, shooting you an appraising glance. Burrow looks you both up and down, sizing up your combined threat. 
Ah, get out of here. The both of you. You ain't worth the sweat of my brow anyhow. The elf smiles and bows to you in thanks. Follow me before more of them trouble us. There is a safe place. A reprieve from the din outside. Thank you for your help with that thug. Rare is the human who goes against their own for an elf. She bows. In this cave, we trust Sahela. She is young, but she sees. She knows more than we know. In the camp, the brute Griff rules. He who gives the bread has the power. I hear of no escapes. The only way out is through. Through the Magisters, through their cure. Thugs, I can stand, but oh, I fear the Magisters. It gives me great pain. I'm with my family. We are making beautiful magic. We are healing a tree cut down with great violence. The Magister's come. My family runs, but I fall. My son looks back. I shout to him to run. I am taken. Wait, before you go, I am not here without your help. I do not forget this. For you, a prize. I save it for a special occasion, but I can think of no finer occasion than this. Thank you. No one tells me there are so many children in this Fort Joy. Your kind I handle, but small ones. You know what they do? 
they play a game called Scream. In this game, they see who screams the loudest. I feel the Divine's loss so sharply during Scream. The young girl's eyes are covered, but she turns towards you when you approach. She smiles as though she recognizes you, though she couldn't have seen your face. Ah, hello. I see you come a long way. I see you come here seeking a great adventure. Do you find it? I see it before my eyes. <laughs> it is not so bad. I know which days have bread and which days have none. I know more bread comes someday. It helps. Your life is not your own. Your life is for us all. I cannot say more. You see someday. Her eyebrows shoot up. There can be a way. Amiro knows. But he is gone. Do you see him? He knows how to leave. My protector. My friend, an elf like me, with a spirit bright as new leaves. He tries to help me, to save me, and he suffers very much. He is caught by those who hurt him. I wish so much for his return. And he tells you what you seek, a way out. You bring me great peace. Thank you, my friend. I miss him very much. I see something that helps. I see a lizard. He is a lizard of many dreams, of far feeling. You do not free Amiro without him. Yes, please ask. I knew we must be here. I am not sure how much to explain. You are here, and so we are here. I know they help. I got that special shipment you was asking after. Got it. Leave him be. Don't make me say it again. Listen, I can help you if you just... Shut up, elf. This clown caught him stealing from my kitchen. <clears throat> Still won't say where he stashed my supplies. Sound like someone you'd let off with a slap on the wrist. Caught him red-handed trying to make off with a second crate after he took the first. <laughs> Went down like a rent boy when we grabbed him. Easy. Supplies. A crate of food. A citrus in particular. <laughs> He'll talk. Or he'll die quiet. Listen up. Back off. Not like this. There's too many of them. 
Then it looks like you ain't leaving.
Well done. Sometimes, the best way from a situation is the simplest. I hope Griff rests in peace, even if he lives in anger. You help me. You save me from a terrible man. But still, still there is more I ask of you. I know a way out of here, and this I tell you. But, there is something else. Sahela, she is... She is everything. A ruler, a seer, a knower, a child. She cannot... <coughs> cannot be lost here. It is for all our people, for the... Give me your map. <coughs> I show you the way out. A secret. Dangerous. But it leads to freedom. I give you this amulet. You must pass it to the elves who still remain. Tell them Sahela is here. They will send help. Please. She is important. I go to her. I wish you good luck, and I thank you for us all. I've spotted something. I am not opposed to manual labor if circumstances require. <laughs> 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 